क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन द स्क्रू होम मेकनिज्म ऑफ द नी जॉइंट ड्यूरिंग टर्मिनल थर्टी डिग्रीज ऑफ नी एक्सटेंशन इनवॉल्व एंड द ऑप्शन आर दीज सो अगेन दिस इज ए क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम बायो मेकनिक्स एंड लेट्स ट्राई टू फाइंड द आंसर सो टू गेट टू द आंसर यू हैव टू नो द लॉकिंग अनलॉकिंग मेकनिज्म ऑफ द नी जॉइंट नाउ इन दिस फिगर यू कैन सी दैट द मीडियल फ्यूमोरल कॉन्डाइल इज लॉन्गर दैन द लैटरल फ्यूमोरल कॉन्डाइल दैट मीन्स इट हैज मोर आर्टिकुलर सर्फेस Now, in last 30 degrees of non-weight bearing knee extension, the shorter lateral tibial plateau and the femoral condyle pair completes the rolling gliding motion before the longer medial articular surfaces do. That means there is an obligatory lateral rotation of tibia that accompanies the final stages, that is the 5 degrees of knee extension, that is not produced by any muscular forces because there is already completion of the movement in the lateral femoral condyle. but there is still space in the medial femoral condyle so to compensate the motion there is thus obligatory lateral rotation and this lateral rotation is also called the locking of the knee joint right now to initiate knee flexion laterally rotated tibia must now medially rotate as flexion is initiated this is called unlocking of the knee joint you can see all of this in the details in your biomechanics norkin book Fifth edition, page number 417. Here you can see there is an obligatory lateral rotation of tibia that accompanies the final stages of knee extension. And question come exactly from this line. So to answer question number 11, the answer is option A, that is lateral rotation of tibia.